Hey everybody, Ray here. It's a little bit late, but finally we've got both the HTC 10 and the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge here. Originally, I planned to give you guys a full review instead, but in the last three days, I travelled all around London, with my old friend coming for a short trip from elsewhere in the UK, before he go back to Hong Kong. We took like hundreds of thousands of photos with him from day to night. So I was having a full in-depth comparison for just a camera instead. A full review will be up next anyway. This time HTC and Samsung have a similar approach to the camera as they both believe less megapixels count with larger individual pixel size will produce better images. In fact, they're right. The photos, I mean the cameras on both of them are brilliant. Function-wise, Pro Mode is available on both of them, which offers access to the shutter speed, ISO, white balance, and so on. There are also slow motion, but 240fps on the S7 Edge, and 120 only on the HTC 10. No comparison here. And hyperlapse. On the HTC 10, we can adjust the playback speed up to 12 times faster. Brilliant, and it's customizable. Unluckily, the exposure is not working very well here. While on the S7 Edge, the software has done everything for us, just click and play. However, both the clarity and the exposure seems to be a lot better on the S7 Edge. Anyways, the cable ride in London from North Greenwich to London Excel. The scenery is brilliant. Alright, enough for the word brilliant. Those features may or may not be your main concern of your decision, but the image quality is what you guys are all coming for. During daytime, they performed really, really close, as they both pack a 12 megapixels camera. The level of details is more or less the same. In this particular shot, the S7 Edge gives a much brighter image with a much more accurate white balance. The HTC 10 tends to produce a greenish looking shot for most of the time, but it picks up the shadow much better. Generally, those images from the S7 Edge are more pleasing to the eyes at the first glance, but HTC's photos is better, thanks to the wider dynamic range and much less artificial effect. Of course, it is my point of view, you may or you can have different personal preference. The clarity, almost the same. The shadow, the HTC 10 picks that up a little bit better with less artifact. But the S7 Edge gives more vibrant color and the images are a little bit more well exposed. So based on your personal preference, which is better, comments below. Again, the S7 Edge tends to boost the saturation with slightly more exposure. It's more pleasing to the eyes, but HTC's image picks up the clouds a little bit better. Also, the building looks more natural thanks to the next to none artificial effect. Now in the evening, the differences are still marginal. The S7 Edge handles the digital noise a little bit better. Images on the S7 Edge look smoother, with high color saturation. But I'm really impressed by the camera on the HTC 10. It picks up all those details as good as the S7 Edge.
เยดิเทลยกกันเลยยกกันยังไงล่ะเย็บมีมาเซนฟอกลาเอ่อมิวเจอร์เฮ้ยเอาโฟกัสอันนั้นคลีนสมอิสตรีมดาร์คแอนด์เวอร์เมนต์หรือไฮคอนทราสต์ในเรียลส์ที่เอสเอ็มเอ็นจ์ฮันดูส์ที่เอ็กซ์โพเชอร์อันลอตเบตเตอร์ไฮไลท์อันนั้นควบคุมและโฟโต้ส์อันลอตคลีนเนอร์แต่ยังมีความเหมาะสมหรือเพิ่มระดับของความละเอียด For this particular photo, the HD's hand gives a wider dynamic range. The clarity is also even better than the S o n e d e but left all digital noise all over the photo like a mess. Again, the HD's hand edges out the S o n e d e in this particular photo. It's simply sharper. So, if you are looking for the best smartphone camera right now, should you choose the HTC 10 or the S7 Edge? Well, they did equally well on the broad daylight. The HTC 10 gives better dynamic range, more natural image processing, but dimmer photos and a greenish tint. The S7 Edge, in contrast, gives brighter and more vibrant-looking images, which help it stand out and attract our eyes. However, there's a big turning point in some extreme dark environment. The S7 Edge is simply the best right now. It handles the exposure and the digital noise nearly perfect, with probably the best clarity. Also, with the fastest focusing system, 240 fps slow motion and better hyperlapse video quality, the S7 Edge offers the best camera experience as the whole package right now. What do you think? Comments are always welcomed. And who guys did enjoy watching this video? If you want to watch more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And once again, this is Ray. See you next time.